We're on the stairs of Parliament House where there's a ban on fracking rally going on and we're going to be speaking to some of the protesters, some of the people that are doing the talking and speaking, the MC, and uh, find out why they're so passionate about banning fracking in WA and the impact, as well as why they're urging the government to look for other alternatives than gas. I'm with uh, the Secretary of CFMU. Can you tell me, what's, what's your full name, please? Uh, Mick Buchan, State Secretary CFMU WA. And why, why are you guys here today? What's, uh, what, what's this rally about for you? Oh, this rally is about, we've got a lot of members in regional areas and around the place that care for the environment. And, um, and all you hear is bad news out of fracking. And uh, quite frankly, fracking needs to get fracked. You see all the reports uh, that come out there and just the contaminated water supplies and everything that goes with it. There's no need for it. these toxic gases in the ground and, uh, and produce um, uh, farming in that rich soil, you know, to prosper. I'm speaking to Bridget, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. What brought you to this uh, ban on fracking uh, protest? I just think it's the most important thing to support. We cannot frack this country. It turns everything into a desert, it poisons the water, it destroys productivity of land, it's just wrong. The rally is at Parliament House and I'm with Father Chris. How are you today? It's great to be here and it's really exciting to see all these people who are joining to say that they don't want fracking in their neighbourhood. Um, churches all uh, care about our environment and care about creation. We're all working towards renewable energy and we want every part of our community to be working uh, in the same way. And have you seen some uh, devastation on some of the communities where fracking was allowed to continue? Certainly uh, around Australia and around the world, there are horrible instances where the, uh, the gas has been taken out of the soil, but what's left in the soil is poison. And that makes it impossible to farm uh, and even uh, having families and children affected by that. Um, we've got to put people first when there are so many other ways to make uh, electricity uh, than fracking. I'm with Albert Wickham. He's down here from the Kimberleys at the uh, Frack Ban Rally. Uh, Albert, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the poem you shared earlier in your talk. Oh, look, I think I just sort of um, just shared a bit of an insight, I think, to what a lot of families back in the Kimberleys and I think in the rest of the WA are sort of coming to grips with. Fracking poses the biggest risk to not only, you know, Indigenous children's future, but I think, you know, the future of everybody's child in Western Australia. And so... I'm here today to join this awesome audience in basically getting the message out to our politicians to really put a massive ban across the state because fracking is certainly not the future I think WA wants. We are the rivers that run through the open ocean and the land is a friend to you and me. We are the eagles that soar through the open sky and we are the desert and the sea. We owe our life to the law of this land because without it we are lost. But somehow through all this progress, it's all come at a cost. So this song and this story is about all of us and what it actually means to me. It's about how we all see ourselves, if it's a desert or the sea. It could be all the rugged ranges or all the deserts near and far. One thing's for sure. And I'm proud to say this country is who we are. Well, the message is loud and strong and the people are all singing it in unison that the government really needs to look at different alternatives and to ban fracking in WA.